Okay, beautiful souls. It's Friday and I'm I just recorded this audio for my um, clients that I work with in Foxer and I'm like, oh, let me just tap into the beautiful priestess energy and this like just celebrate this amazing week with you guys and also like energetically close the week. So one of the things that really, really um, aligns with the priestess energy is really be very intentional with everything you do, right? So when you tap into the priestess energy, when you work from the priestess energy, when you live from the priestess energy, then things become more intentional. And a part of being intentional is really, really understanding the energetic game on a deeper level. And I've already explained to you in previous episodes that really the level of manifesting where we have spoken about like the last couple of years is no longer relevant at this new time level, right? So it's not about journaling. It's not about expressing your gratefulness and like doing a list of things that you are grateful for or like doing this meditations because somebody says you have to meditate, right? It's uh, it's it's of a way deeper remembrance it's remembering on a deeper level so sure as a priestess you still you still practice gratefulness right you still practice moments of meditations of silence but it's done in a different form it is done in it's like it's part of who you are it's no longer like a trick that you're doing on your old timeline like you're in your old timeline and you're doing this trick in the hope that you can remember something of another timeline no you if you are at the priestess energy if you're working with the priestess energy then you step into the new timeline and then you become her and then all those things like the moments of silence the moments of of gratitude the the remembrance codes the the rituals it's all part of your being and that's really what really triggered me and inspired me to do this Friday afternoon episode because the Friday afternoon for me really represents like the ending of a beautiful week and even though time does not exist at this timeline we do allow ourselves certain time frames to move through So the Friday afternoon really represents for me currently like an ending of a beautiful cycle, an ending of a beautiful week, a week where I got to witness so many beautiful miracles, where I got to witness the beauty of of the priestess energy, the beauty of just being, showing up is not even the right word. It's like it's being and letting yourself be led following up on the intuitive hits and then really just stepping into the ease of all of it because it is so easy when you are in this energy it's like it's almost like (laughs) how could i ever overcomplicate things so much right but that totally makes sense because that was the old timeline that was a, a different energy but on this new timeline where we tap into the priestess energy and when we work with the priestess energy and with the phoenix and with the beautiful archangels things become easy and then there's this like call at the end of the week to really really sort of get back into your sacred timing and space again right so really turning off the media again and turning off the apps again and still be available for the people that you love but then not be like in like in in total service of right so during the week i'm energetically also not only physically but also energetically i am connected to you guys and to the amazing women i work with one-on-one and to my beautiful instagram community and my facebook community and i'm energetically connected and in surface right i am in surface um and i love that i love that and then i also love this friday afternoon where we really get to tap like where we get to close that down and it's like oh this was a beautiful week and now i'm like it's time to be in my own energy again to sort of let it all integrate and 
it's not about like when on the old timeline I used to reset because I was like overwhelmed and that was different right because the reason why I was overwhelmed because I was at a timeline where I was trying like again it was perfect at that moment but it was like it was still trying right so then you get overwhelmed but in a new timeline we do not get overwhelmed we do not get overwhelmed but we do take these sacred moments to be in our own energy so that we can integrate everything that has been set in motion in the previous week and then when we integrate it it can move through us and when it moves through us we can then implement it into the new week again so it's a beautiful cycle like like wa waves right so you have a wave and it goes up that's like the week right, during the week and then on the top you have your integration and then you go down and then you can integrate it again into the new week so it's such a beautiful beautiful process so this is really just to celebrate this amazing week to close down this amazing week to invite you into the priestess energy as well into the into the weekend to really become her stay in her beautiful energy let it all integrate and just let it let it move through you and let her show you what it is you can do next week in total trust of the divine timing in total trust of everything that is like like moving through you and yeah it's just it's a beautiful beautiful field this 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 second stage where we're currently at at the rising stage is it is beautiful so allow her in and allow yourself the gift of being in your own energy and really like look at yourself and like feel what it's like to be in your own energy because you are such an amazing soul and how often do we actually forget to look in a mirror uh, like deliberately a couple of times a day and really look at ourselves and be like wow you are freaking amazing what a goddess what a priestess what a what an amazing energy what how glad i am that i get to be in your energy 24 7 right so allow yourself the gift of like allow yourself the gift of being in your own energy really 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 that's like that is a beautiful gift you can give yourself this weekend so uh, I want to wish you an amazing weekend and um, we will talk soon Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday but one thing's for sure it's gonna be after this weekend okay much love for now and um, congratulations of really becoming one with yourself and really loving her seeing her and being so freaking excited and proud that you get to be in her bye